Hello friends, I am Gnandar Siddhu and this episode is in continuation of my previous two episodes which were about media and conditioning or programming of our mind. In this episode, we will discuss that why unconditioning or non-programming of mind is essential. About this, I want to say that that unconditioning or non-programming is essentially for some spiritual purposes and also for allowing us to live the life which is actually meant for us. It is very important to live the life which is actually meant for me or for you. As Aristotle used to say that we all have a telos. Telos is something our essential purpose with which we are born and in life we have to fulfill that purpose. That is why it is called fulfilled life and fulfilled life is the actual life, actually happy and peaceful life. And Aristotle used to say about ontology. Ontology is that we have a particular kind of distinctiveness, individuality, our own Elan Vidal. Elan Vidal means something which is very peculiar and essential for us. Just like a seed of a neem tree is not going to bear a mango tree. Same thing is applicable for me. I cannot live the life of some other person. So it is my moral duty to not to encroach upon the thinking of other person and other person have the moral duty to not to encroach upon my thinking. And we should respect each other's difference, distinctiveness, individuality. But when some kind of programming or conditioning is done, then they take away our individuality with it. They force us to live the life which suits them or which suits their bank balance. Just to gain their profit or some ulterior motive, they try to manipulate our thinking, our mind. And my objection is against that thing. And as I have told that this manipulation is so discreet, subtle and secretive that most of us we are not aware that we are living the life dictated by them in a very hidden manner. We are getting enslaved without becoming aware about it. That is my objection. Recently I started reading a book by Anita Murjani. The title of the book is Dying to be me. I am emphasizing this title. Dying to be me. That I am desperate to be what I am. And she got experience through NDE. NDE is near death experience. It is very important in present day psychology. NDE. Because when we are very close to the death, then all conditioning, all superficialities, all luxuries, everything, they, they lose their meaning. And at the face of death, we see only life as it is. We see ourselves as we are born. We see the reality in utter nakedness. And even Steve Jobs, he got that Andy experience, near death experience. Steve Jobs was himself a master of programming the minds of others. He was a marketing guru, a businessman who earned like anything. 
बट एट द टाइम ऑफ एंडी नियर डेथ एक्सपीरियंस इवन ऑल दो सुपरफिशलिटीज देव एपरेटेड एंड ही रियलाइज दैट वेदर द वॉच इज ऑफ थ्री थाउजेंड डॉलर और थ्री हंड्रेड डॉलर इट इज गोइंग टू टेल द सेम टाइम he faced himself in utter nakedness as i've discussed earlier that at every step of our life whether it is our professional life political life social life personal life family life we are trying to be manipulated trying to be programmed and that is not a good thing this freedom from programming of the mind is essential to live a very light soothing peaceful life i tell you my example that i try to un uncondition myself detox myself and i feel that i feel sometimes very light because i am not burdened with the pressure of having a particular kind of house vehicle a lifestyle i am not pressurized to wear a particular kind of brand of clothes watches shoes my life is not dependent upon the luxuries the which are depicted in the advertisements again and again and i experience that in this way i live very constant life my life does not change with the place and time whether i am sitting at the banks of ontario lake or a this desi chappad i am saying whether i am traveling in aeroplane or in a public transport or even in a bullock cart i am saying this sameness of life this consistency is very very much light here i remember one example that actually i quoted in my first episode which was about unfolding that is the movie three idiots in that movie there are three characters one is rancho rancho he lives the life for which actually is born he has that instinctive bone of engineer and he is doing that thing while his two other friends they are they have joined the stream of engineering because of the pressure of society or the family pressure and they are leading very burdensome and stressful life if you compare the lives of three characters you will realize that how essential it is to live our own life and in a song dharancho is described as behti hawa sa tha wo if you want to feel as light as a blowing breeze behti hawa sa then you need to be very true to yourself and living the life which is actually meant for you and i tell you it is not very difficult thing hmm. the only thing is that we have to be very conscious about our subconscious mind that and from there we have to detox decondition ourselves for that i have few suggestions and i have practiced one thing and that is mindfulness i tell you that mindfulness is a great antidote against the conditioning when you start living in the present moment and just flowing with the flow then these conditionings they don't work upon you 
in the state of mindfulness you are actually tuning your inner being to the outer being your inner being is synchronized with the outer being and you feel that as if things are happening in their own way and you are just flowing with them but i i keep trying i i, I don't want to say that i am master of it but i i keep trying and learning about it the second thing is that if you want to know that how much conditioned you are then please do one thing just probe your own decisions that why you purchased a particular brand or product and what makes you be more valuable if you think that a particular kind of bank balance profession luxury car or anything any brand of clothes mobile phones if they they make you feel worthy or really valuable in the in the eyes of the society it means you are conditioned you have been programmed because our value has already been assigned by that almighty that is why baba nanak said man tu jyot swarup hai apna mool pehchan you are the light itself just know your value mera jo mool hai utho tay ho chuka hai bhave ek kaudi da bhave do kaudi da oh kise barli cheez naal na ghatna na vadna so why should i live a miserable life a full of struggle unnecessary struggle to attain those values or to evaluate myself in the eyes of the other person my inner value is not contextual contextual means that it is not going to be either decreased or increased in the context of other person or in the comparison i am what i am and this is the thing that i want to discuss and when i when i try to discuss actually i am releasing myself it is a kind of catharsis for me some say that why do i do this video in a reply to that i say that it is my catharsis my own clean cleansing because i feel that knowledge should be in a flow ਆਪਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਯਾਰ ਇੱਕ ਸੰਖ ਵਾਂਗੂ ਆਪਣੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਹਵਾ ਨਿਕਲ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਨਾਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਿਊਸਿੰਗ ਏਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਰਾਦਰ ਲਾਈਫ ਇਜ਼ ਪਾਸਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਅਸ ਲੈਟ ਇਟ ਪਾਸ ਥਰੂ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਜਸਟ ਫੀਲ ਥੈਟ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਫੀਲ ਬਹਤੀ ਹਵਾ ਸਾ ਦੈਨ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਲਿਵ ਯੂਰ ਓਨ ਲਾਈਫ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ